Welcome, Amy Barney here. Today I'm going to share my four steps to what I get, how I have my flawless finish, okay? So I already, you know, I got my eyes on and I always like to do my eyes first because for me, you know, if there's any mess up or if I mess up with mascara or eyeliner, I don't wanna to have to redo my flawless finish. All right, so first step, always use a primer. I already have that on because Obviously, I already started my makeup, so you gotta have a primer. That's really gonna make the biggest difference. It's gonna keep your makeup in place. It's going to help your makeup to stay on all day. It's going to help you use less makeup. It's gonna keep it out of your fine lines and pores, so that's the first step, is you wanna use a primer. Second step, I didn't do this for the longest time, but is using a concealer. So you guys, I have had this concealer from the very beginning. A little goes a long way, so it has lasted me for a long time. All right, now I used to skip concealer, and um, because you know I don't really have obvious blemishes and stuff usually, but I do have some redness in here, and especially because I I wear a CPAP machine at night and I get red around here, um, and so I used to just do the three steps, um, and there was a noticeable difference in my pictures when I started doing a concealer. Now you can choose to conceal for blemishes, you can highlight, like kind of like what I'm doing, but this is also just my red zone. And so I like to conceal it and then my pictures look flawless. I never use filters, um, but just by adding in, you know, I, mean, I pretty much conceal my whole nose, but just by adding this in, this one step, it really makes a huge difference. Now you don't wanna just do a little circle under here, it's gonna highlight your bags. Now, and because I am 41, I don't go all the way up to my eye because I have, you know, those little lines right there and your concealer is just going to go sit in them and highlight them and make them look worse. So depending on the type of eye you have and your age, you might be able to pull that off and it looks incredible. Um, that's just not something I can do though. So I kind of go up to here and that's about as far as they go. Now I also, I get a little red spot up here, so I just, you know, I like to conceal that. And if you're going to use like two shades lighter, but since I'm like the lightest color, my concealer and, you know, um, foundation are light colors, uh, you can highlight here. And it really does. It really makes a big difference in how your pictures look like that. And right here you can highlight. I just like to grab a blending bud and I just, you know, soften it. It's damp. Use it damp. If it's um, not damp, you're just going to take all the product off. And like I said, I already have primer on. And I'm just gonna blend this out, okay? Um, I find that's the best way for me. You can use your finger, um, you can use a brush, but I just like the soft look of using a beauty blender. So again, like I said, this is like the biggest change when I finally started using concealer, probably about a year ago. Um, huge change in the way my photos look. So it really makes a difference. Um, but if you want super light coverage, you don't have to do it. It's fine. You know, you don't have to wear concealer. I just really like the way it helps to make, kind of highlight this area and make it look really flawless. Especially if you're a little bit darker skin than me, then you can really pull off the highlight look by going two shades lighter with your concealer. But since I am so pale, I'm going to add a little bit more around my nose because like I said, I always have a red nose. And just blending that in. Um, and up here. And then we're going to do the foundation and then the final step. So I'm going to add in a couple things. So that for me, it's prime, conceal, foundation, and set. Those are like the four main things for a flawless finish. I like to add in a few extras, which I'll show you, which is um, using like a bronzer, um, a little contour and blush. But for that flawless face, you can just go with those four things, prime, conceal, foundation, and set. All right, so get on my liquid foundation that dries to a powder finish. I'm so glad I can use it again. I wasn't able to use it for a while because my skin was just so dry. But with the um, new skincare I'm on, it's replenished my face and it is amazing. So if you would like details or would love to be color matched, uh, and with this, I only use about three drops for me. So that's about it. It's amazing, right? Um, you may need more. 
Again, I kind of go for a light. I don't need a lot. But if you would love to be color match, shoot, shoot me a message or comment below and I'd be happy to color match you. Or if you'd like details on how you can save 32% on this bundle, just drop me a, a message or comment below. You can say flawless. All right, so this gives me, I just really love the way, you know, any foundation always just smooths out your complexion. Um, this one though, I, what I really like about it, it has light reflecting properties and so it kind of blurs imperfections and it's just really gives you that soft look and I love that it dries to powder finish. All right, so I just blend it out. You're buffing it into your skin. It's a mineral foundation and honestly a brush is kind of required otherwise you're going to use 10 times the makeup and as you saw I only needed three drops. Three drops and I'm just blending it in. All right, as a recap, step one, you wanna prime your skin with a primer. Step two, conceal. Now, you may decide to conceal after. I like to do it before, and you may have to, depending on if you have a lot of blemishes, you may need to conceal a little bit after your foundation as well. But because I know I have that red strip there, I always conceal first. But you could always just do foundation first and then conceal where needed, depending on your preference. All right. All right, let's get that. I think I've blended it all in. Welcome, welcome. All right, so prime, conceal, foundation, and set. All right, before I set, and there are two setting products, I like both, setting powder or setting spray. I would usually go with just the setting powder, but when my skin's been drier in the winter, drier in the winter, I like the, the spray. And it does give you kind of a dewy look. It looks really cool. And they both work amazing, but it's just, you know, what does your skin type require? All right, so my little extras that I like to do before I set it is I'm just going to do a light contour. I use a powder uh, foundation that is just one shade darker, and it's just very, very light. I like subtle. You're going to go right in there under your, and you're going to swipe up under your cheekbone. My brush is shedding. Get that off. So, I'm I never really big on doing very stark contrast. <laughs> Might be because I'm such a pale skin person that when I do, it's it's harder for me to blend it. And I like it to have a more natural look. And so you're gonna cut here along the jawline. And again, you may not even see it, especially because I'm on camera. Um, in person, I can see a subtle difference. Um, it's just very light shadows on the side of my nose. This is just a very basic contour lesson. Very basic, obviously. So just the sides of my nose, and then I'm gonna do my forehead. Obviously, I have a massive forehead, so. But it's just light shading. And hey, Dustin. All right, so that is one of my extra steps that I like to do. And because it's winter-ish still, <laughs> I guess it's, we're coming into spring, aren't we? We are gonna spring forward on Sunday. I do like to use the bronzer too, just to give me a little color, give me that sun-kissed look that I don't have ever. <laughs> and with the bronzer, you kind of go over your cheekbones. I, you know, I, if you're bronzing, you could, I'd like to go with a matte for a contour. And then you're gonna, it's like a backwards three. You're gonna go like this and like that. And that's where you're gonna bronze. So these are my extras and I don't spend very much time doing them. I spend most of my time doing my eyes. Does it work with facial hair? I think it would look a little patchy <laughs> if you did it with facial hair. All right, now last step before I set, um, is I, li I like to add just a little bit of blush. And not much though, just very light. I like to use the fan brush to just lightly add in just a little bit of color there. And you know, that's just about it. Those are my few extra steps I do for my face, but the basic ones that I always do, and I don't always do the contour, I don't always do the bronzer, and I don't always do the blush, but I always do prime, conceal, foundation, and now I'm gonna set. And I'm gonna use this spray today. So this has kind of a, a yummy smell to it. <laughs> so you're gonna close your eyes and cause you and you spray it like around in a circle. 
All right, and then, whew, I'm gonna try. And it gives you this dewy look. It, I think it looks really refreshing. It's really nice. Uh, in the summer, I'm all about the setting powder, you guys. <laughs> And the setting powder has magical properties. So if you want to see more information about what it can do for you, oh my gosh, I don't know if you remember when I put lipstick on my face and I put the setting powder over it and I ran my finger through it and it didn't budge. Seriously amazing. But because my skin's drier right now, I go for the spray. All right, so those are the four basics for a flawless face. Prime, never forget to prime, conceal, foundation, and setting powder or spray. Now there is a special on those. If you want more details, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, and if you got any value out of this, I'd love for you to share it. And I will see you guys all tomorrow morning. Bye.